I'm Shredmaster Scott, and this video is about the best guitar chord theory lesson. In a minute, I'll be breaking down triads, seventh chords, ninth chords, eleventh, and thirteenth chords. We'll talk about what intervals make them tick and the common shapes you can use to play them. Subscribe for more Shred, I know you wanna. And if you're looking for the tab, just hit the link in the description below. Of course, that's also the free drugs and booze link. All right, let's get into it. So a triad is composed of the root, third, and fifth. Or in the case of A major, that's gonna be A as the root, C sharp as the third, and E as the fifth. If you wanna make that minor, then you flat the third note. So you take the C sharp down to a C. Instant sadness. Now let's go over some common chord shapes. For A major, you can use this bar chord. For minor, just take off your flipper finger. How many fucks do you give? Going back to triads for a second, you can also play an augmented chord, which is raising the fifth of a major chord. So A major, take the fifth up a half step. And a diminished chord is a minor chord with a flatted fifth. So this is A minor. And you take the fifth down a half step, and that's diminished chord. Ingvar J. Malmsteen's favorite. Now let's move on to seventh chords. Seventh chords are four notes. First up, you got A major seven, and then A minor seven. A dominant seven, which is a major seven chord with a flatted seventh. Then we move on to the illustrious A minor seven flat five chord. You can make the A minor seven flat five chord fully diminished by flatting the seventh yet another half step. That's pure evil. Just remember, Satan loves you. And of course, there's the James Bond chord, A minor major seven. Technically, the James Bond chord actually has a ninth in there. A minor major seven chord is a minor seven chord with a major seventh interval. So you got the minor third and the major seven. Super creepy. I forgot to mention, do you know what the most spiritual chord is? Well, that'd be the G sus chord. Get it? G sus? <laughs> All right, let's get back to the chords. Moving on to ninth chords. A ninth interval is simply a second up an octave. For instance, a ninth from A would be the note B up an octave. You got A major nine, A minor nine, very sexy. A dominant nine. And that James Bond chord, A minor major seven with an added nine. All right, moving on to 11th chords. An 11th is a fourth up an octave. So an 11th from A would be a D note. A major seven sharp 11. One of my personal favorite chords that implies the Lydian mode. A minor 11, you got A7 sharp 11, cool altered dominant sound, implying the Lydian dominant mode. And finally, moving on to 13th chords, or a sixth up an octave. A 13th from A is going to be an F sharp. We got A major 13, A minor 13, A dominant 13, Music theory gets you laid. Right, Death? We'll take his taciturn response as an affirmative. That's pretty much every chord you'll ever come across. Unless you're into jazz, and then you get into some really fucked up shit. But nobody cares about jazz. <laughs> Flat 97, triple 72, 69. Fuck, bitch. <laughs> get out of here with that nonsense. No, but in all honesty, there's some cool chords in jazz as well. 
It's time for some real talk. The trick with chords is all in how you play them. That's why chord books suck so much because just playing the block chords is not fun and it doesn't sound musical. Now I've got a secret for you. The best way to make your chords musical is to apply specific techniques to them. For instance, you could try legato technique. Maybe toss in a little tapping. Hell, how about some alternate picking? Now the block chords come to life. In your own practice session, see if you can come up with your own ways to play chords using these different techniques. Now, I want to know what your thoughts on chords are. Do you have a favorite one? I bet it's the triple Satan, isn't it? Or is it the zero fucks given chord? Or is it the my lord that's brutal? Whatever the case may be, enjoy your chords and subscribe for more unbelievably beautiful chords from me, Shredmaster Scott.